sort of lacquer stage of um, painting Matt's uh, spoiler, which you can see there. Oh, there it is. Um, so yeah, I've just put put a lacquer on. Did it wrong? Got a bit, got a bit, peat tong. Um, there's some, there's some marks on top that have shown up more now lacquers on them when it was just blue. Uh, so I think I need to buy a third can of blue. Wait for this lacquer to to harden up for a week or two. Flatten it back, do them little patches, and then and then re lacquer it again. Uh, and I've overloaded lacquer on back as well. So there's some, there's some. It's not flat. They're not full on drips, but well, they're not full on drips. But you can see, I'll I'll show you. So here you can see there's a bit of a mark there, where there's a there was a chip, and I flattened it back, but it seems to have not had, had as much blue on as I thought it did. So it's just more evident when you move around. And then this mark that I didn't even see before has appeared. Um, and then this bit that was all patchy isn't. Isn't too bad now. It's not too bad. I don't know whether it's focusing on there. Um, but then right back, I've put way too much on, so you can see there's some some starting to run down there. Uh, and here, I put quite a lot on. Although that's flattening itself off, so that might be all right. Might be able to get away with them. Uh, so yeah, it's not looking. It's not looking brilliant, but it could have been far worse. So, yeah, I just need to address these patches and uh, yeah, see where we go from. Oh, there were a bit that I've, it looks like I've sanded through the colour, so I need to recolour that bit as well. You can see prime underneath it. Uh, but apart from that, we're all right. So we should, I say, wait for that to go off. Get some more blue. Sort that out, and I think we should be nearly there. So. Trial and error, mostly error this time. Right then, here we are with um, a freshly lacquered um, mat spoiler. And perfect, isn't it? Not too bad for that. Now seems to be all right, so I think I think we I think we're on to uh, on to cutting and paste uh, cutting and pasting pet compounding. So yeah, I don't know whether that's showing up at all on the camera. But it's not a not a bad not bad for a first for a first attempt. I think obviously it could be could be a million times better if it were professionally done. Woo. Um, oh, oh, this guy. Oh, just going. Um, but yeah, I thought I think that's all right. So let's um, uh, know, let's get some cutting compound. I can remember where I've put it, and then um, we'll see. We'll see what what difference it makes. So I've just gone over this side with some cutting compound. I don't know whether you can. I don't know whether you can see a difference. There is a difference, but I don't know whether it's whether it's a good difference or a bad difference. Well, it's kind of a good difference. It's a bit, it's a bit flatter. It's not more, not very. It's not more. It's not more shiny. I don't think. It's just more flat. Um, so I'll now go tea cut over this, and then polish it, and then I'll compare the both sides to see. To see what I can see that's different, if anything. So, wish me luck.
Uh, yeah, it looks like it's improving to me. I don't know whether you, again, I don't know whether you'll be able to see on, uh, on Cameroon, eh? I don't know what that's showing you, but um, yeah, from my point of view, it's looking on the side that I'm doing stuff on. It's looking better. It's not. It's not. It's nowhere near perfect. But I think it's better than not doing it. So next thing, Ugh. next thing is I've got this. Urta Finesse Triple All-in-One Polish. So we'll put some of that on and see what that looks like. Polish, Glaze and Wax Your Paintwork. Whether it's any shinier than the other side is yet to be seen, but we shall see in good time. So let's get this light on it and see what we can see. I mean, you're supposed to use a single point, part light, point light for this so to see it better. But oh, yeah, there's a definite improvement. I don't know whether you can see that on camera, but if you look at the reflection of the light there and there, it's definitely better on that side. So I'll carry on and do exactly what I've just done on that side, on this other side, and then we'll have a look at the end. How exciting! Right then, <clears throat> so that's compounded, tea cutted with this rapid scratch remover, which I think is a bit harsher than normal tea cut, I think. Um, and then polished and Wax with this all in one thing, which I'm I'm not entirely certain how, how good it's supposed to be. But it seems to have brought this up alright, so again I'll just do a bit of a, a shiny light test and see what see what you think. It's definitely it's definitely shinier than it were before. Obviously it's not it's not perfect. But it's uh, it's got some detail in it. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. I hope Matt's happy with that, but I'm happy with that. Well, we can have a disco version. Here we go. What do you reckon to that? Ooh, cool, isn't it? Um, all right, turn off now. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's come out all right. I do need to do this side now. It should be as long. And uh, hopefully that, that light works, otherwise we're going to have to stop messing about swapping lights over as well. Let me take them out while I, while I remember. I need to be 
it to get some masking tape covering up where the bolts go to hold this on. So yeah, again I'll not film I'll not film this bit it's exactly the same as what I've just been doing only on this side. Well I hope this is uh, I hope this is recording alright so um, I've just put another coat of the polish on the top so we'll just buff that off now it's very slippery and then when I've done this I'll get that spotlight out again and we can have a bit of a, a look around and see see if we can see any problems I've already spotted a problem on the other side but I'm not going to tell you about that in case you see well for when you see Matt's car in real life you'll not be looking for it Right, there we go. So let's have a look. Where's that light gone? Right, let me grab you. And we'll do this. So here we are. I can't remember where I've put my lights here. So here we are. A bit of, I maybe if I angle this out somewhere it might might make more sense. Here we go. It's not oh, it's not even in focus now. Come on, phone. There we go. So it's not perfect by a uh, by a, any stretch of the imagination, but I think that's that's not bad for a, a first effort at uh, at spraying something that big and of a bit of a complex shape. Um there you go, that's probably a better way. See, it's not super, super flat. You can still see the texture on it. But I think, overall, I think that's that's come out all right. I'm quite happy with that. And hopefully, uh, hopefully Matt will be as well. And uh, when it's fitted to Sky, I'm sure it'll look fantastic. Why am I on about Sky? It's Hope, not Sky, you plum. Uh, so there we go. So that is the final part of the painting process for um, for the for the rear spoiler for for Hope. Um, the next bit will be obviously is fitting it on. So hopefully that goes to plan, and uh, I can record that. And um, <clears throat> yeah, it goes all right. The moving the changing the spoilers over is really easy because they're exactly the same fittings. So I took I did a test run taking the one off Jenny. Um, the only thing I would, that's an, an unknown con, uh, an unknown quantity um, is a high level brake light on there. So hopefully that works and it just plugs in and that's it. And then, and then a, a way, a way Matt goes with a, a shiny new spoiler on there. And then I can uh, <coughs> put the other one somewhere in storage for when for when we uh, enhance enhance Jenny. So there you go. Thanks for watching this. Is it part three or part four? Whatever part of painting Matt Spoiler this is. And uh, I shall catch you on the next one. Ta-ra now.